with a check of our forecast. Yeah, I kind we of agree. <laughs> it does a little. Kind a of a little cool smudge. sight. Kind of a cool sight, I guess we should say. You know what else is kind of a cool sight? These clouds we're seeing over downtown LA. We saw a cloudy, a very cool day today. Temperatures well below average. That's where we're going to stay as we head into tomorrow, though we will warm up by just a few degrees. So right now, uh, we're talking about temperatures, most of us in the 60s, Orange County in the upper 60s at this time, mountain communities in the lower 40s. So nice and chilly out there. Now, we are tracking a front that is moving through the region, actually bringing a little bit of rain. You can see out towards uh, areas of Ventura County. Some of this picking up is Virgo, meaning it's not exactly hitting the ground at this time, uh, but we are tracking a little bit of rain, especially towards Fraser Park. Any rain we do see heading into this evening is going to be very light. We're talking all areas less than a tenth of an inch of rain. So just a weak disturbance moving through the area. You can see heading into tonight, maybe a just spotty shower well up to the, towards the north. We're going to be under mostly cloudy skies heading into the early hours of Saturday morning. Well, in Orange County areas of uh, Riverside, San Bernardino County could see some light rain as well. We'll finally dry out, though, as we head into Saturday afternoon. We'll see a little bit more sunshine on Saturday afternoon as well. Now, high surf takes effect as we go into early tomorrow morning. This is going to be in effect for Ventura County. County beaches surf up to seven feet. We also have a risk of rip currents as well. So something you need to be aware of if you are headed out to the coast. Also still elevated surf along uh, Los Angeles County beaches as well. So there we're seeing surf of three to five feet. We'll see the highest surf on west facing beaches again. We could see some rip currents along the coast as well. So the reason why we're going to be seeing warmer temperatures heading into Sunday and Monday will all thanks to this ridge of high pressure, but it won't be. It'll be short lived as we see two areas of low pressure next week, Tuesday and Wednesday pushing that ridge down. That's going to bring us cooler temperatures we will also be very gusty heading into a Tuesday, Wednesday, potentially into Thursday as well. I wouldn't be surprised if we see some wind advisories, maybe even a high wind warning in there as well. So something that we will continue to watch uh, in the weather center. But before that, well, we're going to see that major warning.